mid-December. We got a little bit of skim ice here on shore and I'm going to head out here in a couple minutes and uh, go catch some river smallmouth. Before I do that I wanted to cover rod choice. Looks like I got about eight rods here today and I'm a big proponent of um, presentation specific rods. Let's start here with the hair jig. This is actually a, uh, a strap jig. If you do a search on YouTube for strap jig you'll find uh, how to create these very effective um, hair jigs for winter river smallmouth fishing. This one is fished on a uh, seven foot medium power fast action St. Croix. This one's a legend extreme. Um, I've actually shortened the butt on this one uh, just because I don't like a longer butt inter you know, bumping into the uh, you know my life vest here and uh, even a little rub like that you know it hitting you right here can often feel like the very subtle rub that you'll get when you get a bite on these hair jigs. All I did to shorten the butt on this, I took a fine tooth hacksaw to the uh, the butt. It was actually a split grip which made it easier to do. Uh, I cut that, you know, I cut a, a section about, I guess that's what, five inches out of it and um, I got some some rod epoxy, put that back together, put the butt back on there and it's a nice short handle, very sensitive rod. The next one I have here, um, this is actually a rod that I made myself with the St. Croix blank and I made it for throwing the uh, suspending jerk bait I've got there. Um, it is, of note, it is a, a moderate action rod which means it bends well into the blank when you have a, uh, a very tentatively hooked um, smallmouth. You know, these, these treble hooks are very sticky but the fish on a fast action rod they can really uh, you know jump or head shake underwater and throw that that treble hook. That one feels a little better. It's got a moderate action rod for these jerkbait fish. Any rod can really um, any you know cheap $40 rod can give you moderate action but not all of them give you the sensitivity to feel like what I just felt with this fish here subtle little tick down there at the end of the line well that thing is just sitting still when this guy just latched onto it. The other really nice thing about a moderate action rod is casting distance. I just launched it way out there which is important on a day like today we have really clear water and they are going to be a little bit spookier uh, when the, with this super clear water. I actually use this rod in the summer. I don't I don't throw suspending jerk baits in the summer, although maybe I should. But uh, it's my buzz bait rod. You know, I can take a quarter ounce, you know, finesse buzz bait and chuck it a long, long way just because on the backswing this rod will load up so well and it'll just there is a little bump. Missed him. Uh, you know, on the backswing it'll load the rod real well and it'll launch it a long, long way. So it, it also has an application to uh, to stealth, you know. The further you are away from your target, the more likely that you aren't going to spook them, the more likely you are to catch them. And again, it goes back to that moderate action. And this one is a SC4, the same blank as the Legend Tournament blanks. Uh, medium heavy power, moderate action. Stepping up in power, um, this is the this is another moderate action rod. Again, I got another jerk bait rod or jerk bait on this one um, and this one's seven foot ten and I use this for uh, fishing the suspending jerk baits where I will I will anchor up and I will cast downstream and I will just a little bit at a time very slowly swing my rod tip down and all that rod tip doing is doing is following the speed of the drift and it's for dead drifting not so much of an active presentation but just letting down a little bit at a, at a time uh, dead drifting through the pool when I have it, the rod pointed downstream, I will thumb it, open up the uh, let line out, and I'll swing it up. That'll give a little bit of action, and then I'll engage it and have that taut line again, and then let it swing another about 16 feet. You know, we're, we're looking at a, about an 8-foot rod. It's actually 7 foot 10 inch, um, which gives me a nice long swing to dead drift uh, the suspending jerk bait, which is good in this, you know, We've been into the upper 30s. We've had a little warm spell. It's coming back up over 40. Um, but yeah, don't put the, the jerk baits away, you know, just because it gets into the, uh, even the mid 30s we've caught them. 
on jerk baits. Next one here, uh, this one is a seven foot six medium light, another legend tournament. Uh, this one's a called the live bait rig. Uh, and again, I've, I've shortened the butt here. I've just chopped a, a you know, um, a regular rod and I've taken about six inches off there. Uh, this one, I'm fishing a lure that is traditionally seen as a, um, a summer, a spring, summer, and fall bait. That is a, um, it's a fluke. It's one that I in injected, uh, you know, your, your, your typical soft plastic jerk bait. But I have that rigged on a 1 8 ounce dragon head. I've been rigging them on the quarter ounce uh, with, when we had a little bit more current, but it's been especially low and clear uh, this this early uh, early winter, late fall. So I'm, I'm back down to the eighth. Again, a very sensitive rod that can um, cast a, uh, you know, a, a fairly light lure a long way with that, you know, medium light power. Uh, but this is a fast action, unlike the jerk bait rods. This is my newest rod. This is um, obviously my newest one is the favorite. Uh, this is the 2013 St. Croix Legend Extreme. Um, very sensitive rod. What increases the, sen the sensitivity are these, these micro guides, uh, very small guides up, up at the top. And um, that just decreases how much weight is, is out in front of you. Um, you know, your lighter rods are gonna be more sensitive. Um, no cork on this. It's a it's a different kind of handle. Uh, cleans up real nice. Um, very, um, you know. It, so far in this cold weather, I've enjoyed that it's not a really cold one to grab hold of. Um, and also, right in the middle here, um, there's a split grip which allows me to to really have um, two or three fingers really and my thumb touching that blank, which increases sensitivity a little bit further. This one is a seven foot six medium power fast action and I've been fishing these these small swim baits um, this is one that I pour but an equivalent would be like the reaction innovation skinny dipper uh, and I'm rigging them on the eighth ounce uh, the confidence baits eighth ounce dragon head again just like that fluke and I'm really just fishing it like a jig both the fluke and the um, and the swim bait you know, I'll move it, I'll swim it along a little bit and then let it sit and, you know, I've got a number of them into four pounds so far this month um, on the swim bait in particular and um, really they're hitting it after it's been sitting there, you know, 20, 30, 40 seconds or longer. Next rod here, this is one I made um, some years back and it's the one I like to throw my uh, assassinator clacker spinner bait on. Now that may seem like a pretty aggressive um, presentation for uh, you know for upper 30 degree water lower 40 um, but this has two willow blades and that really makes it so you can slow down the presentation. You can slow roll with a, uh, a clacker, a three-quarter ounce clacker and I got a little actually it's, it's one of the larger swim baits uh, as a trailer on there to give a really big profile couple years back just upstream here um, I hooked about a 40 inch muskie on it and uh, that makes for an interesting day this rod is a and again like I said it's one that I made um, I'll just give you the specs on it um, SC4 graphite medium heavy power moderate fast action and I really went instead of the fast action I went for the moderate fast um, because I knew I was throwing these these big, you know, three-quarter to one-ounce spinner baits, and um, I wanted something that bent into the blank a good bit, just so when those big fish start shaking their head, they're not swinging that hammer, which is the jig head, out of their, you know, out of their mouth. So, this has been a great big spinner bait rod for me. All right, that's it for the rod selection. Ready to head out there and go catch some smallmouth. Okay, first fish of the day. Nice, uh, not even 17 incher. He was a uh, three pound, four ounce, real chunk of a, you know, 16 and three quarter incher. I'll go ahead and let this guy go. See you guys. Uh, really speaks to how important it is to have that moderate action rod. Um, when I, once I netted the fish, yeah, I turned it around, reached down to grab the jerk bait, 
and it wasn't even in them. None of the hooks were in them. So just the, the act of netting the fish, you know, dislodge those hooks. Uh, it's real easy for these fish to shake their head and get off. And really that moderate action blank that uh, St. Croix deep cranker uh, really did the trick. Hello, fishy. Good morning. Oh, yeah, that one's got some staying power. Oh, yeah. Yes. All right, not even as heavy as the, uh, the 18 I got a second ago. This one was uh, three pound, five ounce, just shy of 19, so a long skinny fish. is big. He's, oh, that's one of the ones you lean on and he doesn't move for a second you think. Am I snagged? Nope. Oh, he's big. Come here big boy. Ah, oh, get away from that rock. Barely hooked. Got one hook on him. Oh, get in the net. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Big. Oh, that's a heavy, 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 heavy. Feels a little bit better. I just saw his head come up out of the water. And it was a big fat head. Oh, a big fish. Big fish. Black spots all over him. Look at that. Pigmentation with emphasis on pig. Mm. Up and in. Oh, yeah, you're big. You're big. You're a big, big, big smallmouth. Get back up in there. Oh. That's why we get up at 4 a.m. when it's 22 degrees outside. cookie cutter fish. I mean they're this is the fourth one today on the jerk bait that was between 18 and 3 quarters and 19 inches. Been a good day for jerk baits. The River Smallmouth Winter Patterns DVD will be available January 2013 at confidencebaits.net and kayakfishinggear.com.